Hello and welcome everybody to part one of the Iceni Total War Room 2 Let's Play. Part one. Here we go. So, final one of my three Let's Plays. Rome and Sparta have already gone up. Check out this final Iceni Let's Play. And I've got the game difficulty set to hard as all my Let's Plays are currently going. This apparently has an easy initial challenge, which... It might be nice after Spartan being quite full on. Rome, there's a lot to manage. Hopefully, I see you will kind of mediate somewhere in between there. As usual, we're going for a military victory. You only have to hold 110 settlements in this one and raise or sack 50 different settlements within that. So, we have to do a lot of raising or sacking. So, no occupying. So. Completely control six provinces either by direct ownership or through military alliances. Maintaining 180 units too. Children of Andraste. Plus 10% charge bonus for all units when attacking. Cultural, cultured aspirations. Uh, moderate diplomatic bonus with all non-barbarian factions. Cultural affinity. And no quarter. Minus 50% to the number of battle captives. So. They don't fight to capture. They fight to kill. Let us begin with the Iceni campaign. He's a lovely, cheery-looking fellow. Bring it on. Now, quite potentially by the time this part goes up, I was planning on scheduling a YouTube live stream. However, uh, I am feeling extensively your roamed out right now. But I'll but talk more about that in a minute. Harmony with your kin. The Demeter have chosen to disrupt your peace and bring harm to your people. So stopping them must be your first order of business. The Brigantes are also unreliable and should be dealt with by any means possible. Finally, the Belgic Atribatis leave you little choice but war after their many attempts to settle your lands. However, you share no bad blood with the Damnoniae, so they may prove valuable allies when you cross the narrow sea. By the will of Andraste, the Iceni will never yield. Wise words. Uh, what I was saying is that I am quite Rome 2'd out right now. Uh, I've been playing a lot of online, a lot of campaign. So uh, I was going to do another Let's Play. I did one this morning. I was going to do another, uh, not Let's Play, another live stream rather at around 4 o'clock. However, I'm going to pass on that for now, but I will be live streaming tonight. Uh, either on YouTube or Twitch, I'll let you guys know via Twitter. Um, and if you subscribe to me on YouTube, you'll get a notification. If you're following me on Twitch, then uh, then you'll get a, uh, a notification there. So live stream either on Twitch or YouTube tonight at 9 p.m. with Malekith and Chadman. Anyway, but there's there's not one at four. So let's clarify that. Anyway, object uh, uh, objective issued. Ha! <sighs> From humble beginnings come great things. Oh, it's the same thing. So, control eight settlements. Oh, right. We've got to control eight now this time. Uh, eight settlements rather than provinces. Cool. I can do that. Warriors Suck at my dudes. All. Levy Freeman and Briton Slingers. So, we control Camlulon Lodunum. Lodunum. Oh, dear. Uh, we need help saying all these. <laughs> Ready for so we've got another army up here. We've got Mercenary Spear Band, which might well be useful in disbanding some of those and recruiting some natural units. We shall see. Ready for orders. So we've got to control all of these regions to hold the entirety of um, Britannia. Which is pretty fair, so it gives us it gives us instantly some objectives to go for, which is good. But these guys are unfriendly, but they're hostile and they're friendly. So we are just at war at the moment with these guys. So we'll move into Wales and take them out, and then probably push down and take these guys out. We've given gifts to them. They condemn the war with these guys, but they'll have to live with it. These guys, oh, we've trespassed in their land, have we? And broken treaties with them. And up here, trespasses and military action. Right, well, it's time to unify the British Isles. 
Actually, I did mean to take a little bit, a little bit more. Same blood. Oh, that's interesting. Does that does that do anything? These two, same blood. Can we unify them or something? Uh, we can get trade with these guys, but probably going to screw them over shortly. The Frise. And these guys we can get trade with. Let's see if we can get some trade. Greetings. Now speak plainly. For we are an honest folk and value honest in others. You get an on aggression pack, but I don't really need an on aggression pack with them when I'm not interested in trying to when I'm you know trying to get trade. We will gladly listen to your offers, but do not wrap them in lies. Uh, okay, so they're not interested in trading with me. They must know I'm a noob. So let's look at what we can hire. We can hire mercenary Briton scout riders. Or spearband. Their upkeep is rather extreme, so let's not worry about mercenaries. Let's recruit some British units, uh, maybe while we're getting some mercenary ones, because we can't actually recruit our own, or rather decent own, our own troops yet. So let's get some more slingers. Uh, Levy Freeman in that. Warriors all. We're mustering. I'm going to take my scout and send him to Moridonum. Or that settlement there, if that was said badly. <laughs> Let's see if we can sabotage them. Let's see if we can poison their wells. A good way to go to start off. I like his helmet with the two horns just randomly sticking out. It's pretty darn cool. Did we, did we do it? Yes. Did I not click on it? Oh, no. Mm. <laughs> I thought it was doing it and it wasn't. It's uh, too far away. But right, to we've got the Heroic Riders. Base morale, good amount of morale, health, armor, defense, charge bonus is good. These guys are decent cavalry units. And they should be as they're a general's bodyguard. So let's recruit some more Levy Freeman. And what do we got here? We can upgrade the fishing village, but we can't yet because we're out of funds. Minus four public order per turn. Squalor, really? Where's this going up? This is going up because military presence, okay. Let's expand the city then at least. Which again is one of my favourite parts of Total War. I absolutely love raising up the cities and seeing that all change the campaign map. And what can we build here? Sacred enclosure, artisan's lodging, which I believe is our military building. Oh no, it's industrial. What can we got here? Commons. Provides garrison farmers. Sword band. So fortified city. So what, what is supply foraging? Let's do that. But what is our, you know, our buildings? Improved chariots. Bronze furnace. Stables. So it's, they all develop later on. So most of the Britannic buildings allow you to recruit uh, various units. So let's go for... Well, let's make sure our agriculture and our uh, economy is good. So let's go for enclosed land to start with. We'll upgrade that when we have more money. In fact, Ready might be able to orders. squeeze... Can we cancel all these off? And we might well be able to uh, down short. I'll cancel one of them because I think I should really get on and improve things like the fishery as soon as possible. So we start with the one region. Let's have a look. We've got our various generals here. I like their pointy hats. They're cool. And we've got the statesmen, the other chiefs. But we're mainly all in control of the tribe. Cool. Right, let's... Uh, with. Technology selected. Let's end the turn. Go through that. Ooh, the other faction is taking their turns now. Going through them very quickly. There's Can't a time with that. Oh, when warriors must sheath the sword and talk for the good of their people. Okay, they also, that's interesting. They want peace. Expansionist and unreliable.
guess I could take the extra money, but I might as well stay at war with you. Seems a bit silly. Anyone else playing as the Iceni being offered offered that piece straight away? Our agent exposed, okay. Well, we're going to try and poison their wells. Sabotage. Sabotage successful. And we've increased in rank because of that. So let's give them... Let's give them spy. Well done. We've got a trait. Poison wells. Should have a nice effect on them very soon. I assume it takes a turn for it to settle in. Hail to the mother! How can I help? So, right, we built that enclosed land and now it opens up all sorts of things. It seems that from farming comes a lot of uh, well, there's different variations of units and farmers everywhere. What's this? Lawmaster's hut. Which we need sacrificial rights for. Horse pens would allow me to have cavalry. Or we can go for reservoir wealth from livestock. Or a field. I think I, for now, that provides garrison. Uh, I wouldn't mind saving up for the horses, actually, so I'm going to save up for the horse pens. Ready for battle. I can still recruit a few troops this turn, though. So, I'm going to put in that many. That'll be enough for those horse pens next time, too. So, I've recruited these troops. What do they have over here? Three levy freemen. I'm sure they'll have a little bit of garrison as well, but I think I've got enough troops to march on in. I thought we were at war with these guys. Are we not at war? Yeah. Your enemies, so why do we need to worry about entering? I know we've em trespassed on their land, but surely at war that's going to happen. Oh, we're the same blood though, aren't we? So that's what they don't like. We take the settlement for the tribe. Well, sorry about being the same blood and all, but you are going to have to die. One more turn till that's done. R enables the recruitment of rank one champions. Sweet, and a blacksmith. Let's end the turn and get going with that. So, there we go. We're now really searching improved chariots, and we completed supplied foraging. So, let's have a look, see if that improved chariot is the best thing. Oh, it's the first thing I need, so that will help. Warrior code. I haven't really looked at many, I haven't looked at any technologies for civil stuff yet. Or anything like that. Again, you're given that military or civil um, selection, sieging and things like that. There's a lot to actually research and get through, which I quite like. But I'm going to go through these first few basic um, ones to you know, unlock the stables and boatyard and things like that. So I can get some of my slightly better troops out, because I think I'm going to need them. Hail to the mother! How can I help? How can I assist you? Let's see if we can assassinate... Or, brother, we're going to try and poison. It's failed, though, unfortunately. And our hidden agent exposed. They're now vulnerable. I live to serve. So, but we're going to march in anyway and attack. But that seems like a really bad idea. A garrison army of farmers. Oh, garrison fleet. Look at all the farmers. They're like the mobs that you used to get. They spawn. A crap load of far angry farmers. Okay, let's break the siege then. We'll break the siege. And let's form an ambush here. I'd love to see an ambush if we can get that working. Uh, but with this money, we're going to get the horse pens. Which is what I really wanted. And say what now for the barbarian fortified city. Because there's a lot to be gained from that. I live to serve the people of Britain. At the same time, we could go up against these guys and take them out and just unite the south. 
Iron Fist. We'll have to see. We'll end the turn there, though. Again, going through quickly. And war declared. Who's this against? The Namanites and the Car Carnutes. Let's have a look. So these guys. Oh, the, these two are fighting together. Aww. That's cute. So, I was hoping these guys would come out and attack. So I have my ambusher troops ready. How can I assist you? Meanwhile, let's trust, keep trying to sabotage them. We'll keep poisoning their wells. I'll just success. So I assume does does damage to them. They're forty-two percent happy. I assume going out to sixteen is a result of the poison. Plus nine per turn. Current order, public order going down well. Ready and for we're building plenty of things. Decent amount of income in so far. We can raise more forces or recruit another agent. We can get us another spy or we can get a champion. Let's recruit a champion. War Maiden. I like the look of this one. Let's recruit her. Champions are heroic warriors and experts in military matters. They are recruited via the Recruit Agents button when a settlement is selected and military technologies have been researched. Champions are vulnerable to dignitaries and especially effective against spies. Okay, so that's that kind of triangle of who beats who. What is this madness you speak? What skills does she have? Or how can I use you best, champion? Single combat, show of force. So I think that these are all the things they, they learn to do. He says there's various things that they can all do. So let's send the champion then. I live to serve the Over here. She can probably help out. Continue to be in the ambush. Or, yeah, the ambush stance, which we're currently in. Uh, we can recruit a few more units, but there's not much variety yet. Um, once these guys are completed, completed with their various buildings, we should have a bit more variety, though. Research complete. Improved chariots. Hidden agent has been exposed. Again. We poisoned them somehow. Oh no, see I'm looking at the improvement thing and it's not going up as... It's it's not what it will be next turn, it's what it's gaining. They're building a lot of troops though. I kind of feel I need to get some new troops here. Factional mercenary. It can only be recruited by you on land. You own... Okay. Mercenary Briton Slingers. Okay, so the only ones that can be recruited here. Their upkeep will be rather horrible. These guys' upkeep is pretty darn low. Bar the two mercenary bands we've already got. Do need to bring a few more troops over there, otherwise I am going to be outclassed. Got plenty of new generals that I can employ. Have a look Gravitas here. Various statesmen. I don't think I need another army just yet, though. Ready for orders. Uh, let's get need a bit more. We have more ammunition bonus. So oh, more levy freemen. Guess it can't hurt having more levy freemen. So we might as well recruit more. And then we'll send these guys or this the army line. along to support these guys. I'm going. I'm a going. Ready for orders. I know, I'll risk it by hiring these uh these units just for now. 
lots of cavalry. And yeah, my income is... Oh. Not currently researching any technology. So that's the reminder I like. Uh, let's go for chariot training. Assume I can build chariots from somewhere soon. So my income has dropped quite a bit. But if they do suddenly come out and attack me, I would like to... I would like to know and be able to fight them off. But it doesn't look like they're going to come out towards me at all. Maybe I'll turn to a raiding stance instead. I was hoping I would be able to draw them out toward me. Subject gains notoriety. Requires attention. A group of warriors are preparing to ride out for the hunt. We should make offerings for their safe return and a successful chase. Make a sacrifice? Sure. <clears throat> I think I just I killed that dude, didn't I? The of I did, I killed someone. I sacrificed the him, I think. Tab. Yes, I believe so. So we sacrificed him so we could have a good hunt. Ah, sounds fair to me. So we change this to a raiding. Take what you can. We gain some more money because it doesn't yes. essentially cost us as much. Subversion, we can raid, we can assault garrison. Rally the slaves. We can do it on one of their units, but it's not got a huge amount of chance of happening. Military training. That's good. I live to serve the people of Britain. And sabotage. We'll just keep poisoning their wells if we can. Wounded. No. So they've been wounded, but they'll come back in several turns, which is a feature I quite like. It means you don't don't lose all your troops straight away. And we can get scout riders ourselves now. So let's recruit several scout riders. Just gonna keep on building these up. Stables. We can get veteran riders. I assume we're gonna need to expand the city and get the blacksmith to get the chariots or something like that. Um, we're now researching chariot training, so it's all good. We're raiding, so let's continue to end the turn. was hoping to get a battle in with the IC. I've managed to have a battle in all my Let's Play parts. I might continue a little bit further to ensure that there is one, because it will be fun to see an Iceni battle. And yes, they've sallied out when I don't have my ambush ready. So they've got lots of slingers. I have the cavalry, which could go in to this, take out the slingers at least. And they've got more men than me though, which I am kind of concerned about. I was hoping we'd come out and I'd be ambushing them. So I don't want to lose my dude straight away. What's the auto resolve? Auto-resolving looks pretty bad. You know what? I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to retreat. My warriors. Retreat! Oh, but they're, gonna, they're not giving up. They're going to chase me till the end, so I have to fight this. It's a shame I didn't keep it on ambush. But maybe they wouldn't have come out then. It was the raiding that tempted them. So we'll fight the battle, and we'll just have to hope. Try and use my cavalry effectively to smash into their slingers and break them. Lots of hammer and anvil strikes. The thing is, they will be coming for me. I can play defensively. Getting ready for the Battle of Demetia. 267 BC. Let's see what the terrain is like. 
hilly. So we're not going to be able to see them approaching and they're not going to be able to see me. Um, it would be useful if I could perhaps get, get on top here. I don't know if I can. Yeah, I can place units up on top. Let's form all these guys up like so. In fact, if I keep them over this side, we should be hidden from the enemy. And I want them up high so that I can charge down, especially if I can get up on this slope to flank round them. Which I may see if I can do with my cavalry. I'm going to have to put them way over here. Let's have my general behind them. I'm going to try and claim the ridge. And I think that icon means that we can't see the enemy. Or, or they can't see us equally. I'll let them run for once, actually. Not too worried about that. The enemy should be down here somewhere. Ah, here we go. There they are. We can pull our riders along like so. And we should be able to hold them here if we're careful but I think they're gonna get to us before we can do that what do they got? they got slingers coming toward us I'm trying to bring my guys around and try and control this pass our general is under attack Forming up a shield screen. We're going to flank round with the cavalry. As their troops come towards us, they've got their general's bodyguard coming in towards my Levy Freeman, and we formed our own defensive screen, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to charge in with cavalry to try and free. My, my men as they're being hit. I'm trying to hold them along the line if we can. Now we've got Levy Freeman coming in there. The men are wavering. That we need to hold. We're breaking a lot of these guys, we've shaken them. Pull back and charge again. The men are wavering. We're holding up on the top here. But they're just piling all their troops in. But we've broken them all in the center. That cavalry charge. Charge in with my general's bodyguard as well now. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Shameful display. But we've broken a lot of the other troops now. We're going to hit them in the back now. They're slingers. We've managed to hold. The Heroic Riders have got in there and have broken the Levy Freeman. Scout Riders can go after the rest of the guys down here. And we'll hit the rest of the slingers now. My Freeman have held. And now we've got a dead enemy general. Perfect. Their army is in utter disarray. We've completely turned the tide on them there. Using the infantry to pin them and the cavalry to finish them off. We'll zoom on in and have a look at the guys here. And we can either continue or end the battle. Um, you know, I might continue it just to ride down a few of them. Riders ready! sure we write down as many of them as possible so if you can continue battles um, it wasn't obvious in the prologue campaign preview that I posted obviously it wasn't available in all one of our units has used all its ammunition in all the builds but it is it is available now so you can obviously continue the battle after you uh, after you finish it 
Now this shield's good, I want to show it again because it looks awesome. So they form up and it's good if they're being hit by missile troops, which they were. So the front rank goes down and the rest of them put their, their shields up. That is pretty cool. Let's see my general. The heroic riders. Cinematic mode. There's my general. Now we've chased them to the very borders. Anyway, enough of that. I think we've basically chased all of the enemies off the map now. There's a few of them left here. I think we have very much decimated the enemy, but it takes the opportunity to zoom in nicely and have a look at the uh, the units. Kill, kill, kill. Cavalry are a bit reluctant to engage with these running units. Hopefully that will be sorted soon. But let's, uh, we can quit the battle now. I don't like the idea that quitting the battle should mean I win now. I don't want to risk it. Um, you know what, let's risk it. Close victory, okay, there we go, that's fine. The enemy's broken, death and dishonour are theirs today, but only by a single sword stroke. Well, I don't know, it looked like a mass route to me. We lost 416 and we killed 1,379. Yeah, they lost a lot of men, <laughs> and they didn't kill too many, of you. too many of me. Not too many friendly fire, which is good. Lots of kills by the cavalry, as you can see, 300 on on one of them. They really swooped in and decimated a lot of their forces. Most of their units, I think, all of their units seem to have survived, but you know, some of them are only on one men left. No, they're not. I lie. I was looking at the number of kills they got, thinking that was the number they had left. No, but some, you know, I mean, you can see the number of kills some of them got was pretty pitiful. Most of the slingers were just annihilated straight away by my cavalry. So that went rather well. That's a good tactic. Pin them with the levy freemen, slingers behind, or you know, in a position where they can fire over the men, and then bring in the cavalry. So those mercenary cavalry worked rather well. I'm glad I had them. When we get back to the campaign map, I am going to wrap up this part for now, guys. Um, as I said, I probably, by the time this video gets uploaded, I will have, you know, the message about not doing the 4 o'clock live stream will have seemed a bit pointless. But yeah, just to clarify, if you're looking for that live stream, um, you know, <laughs> I'm going to take a bit of a break and I will come back tonight at 9 o'clock with Chadman and Malekith for more Rome 2. Uh, and there'll be sort of 3v3s going on then. So I hope you guys will tune in. And that will be on Twitch. or Again, that will be either on Twitch or YouTube. But I will announce that on Twitter and on, and on YouTube as well. So be sure to keep your eyes peeled. So we've killed several of their troops. Let's head to disband. Enemy remaining. 536. Held our ground. And they've got to pull back. And if we're quick, we can probably push and defeat them. Because they are a scattered army, and then we can move in and take out Moridon. But anyway, that's going to happen next time, guys. I do hope you've enjoyed. Please join me in the comment and subscribe. See you all again soon. Ciao for now.